Hello traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with a new update on the euro dollar and pound dollar for the upcoming week. Before we take a look at the charts though, wanted to make you aware of ECS Live, our live analysis and setups. Here you can see the stats from last year, from 2017 to 2018, and we're continuing this year again. Join now, Elite Currency slash ECS Live Trading. All right, so first, your dollar daily chart. Your dollar so far is not getting the bullish bounce as we expected. We we're looking for a turn as price is making a retracement, break, retracement, continuation. We're not getting that as yet. But I'm not running out of patience as yet. I think that price will still probably do uh, break to the upside. And it's just testing the, you know, testing our patience a little bit more. Just hit the 78.6 fib exactly as you can see. Let me adjust this. So I think it's still in that zone that I'm talking about. The 78, 88.6 fibs are uh, deep fibs, but I think the most likely bouncing spots for this particular wave pattern, which I think is probably a wave one, two at this moment. Now, if we get a daily candle close below the bottom of the fib, and of course the bottom of the range, which is at 112.65, and we have a daily candle close that can close below it, near the low like this, then of course we're looking at a bearish breakout and that would change perspectives. And in that case, we completed an ABC correction already and we're in a downtrend, all right? But I'm specifically looking for a daily candle that could, a bearish daily candle that could indicate that. Otherwise, I remain uh, with the vision that this is a bullish correction, ABC, a, B, C, A, B, and the C is still ongoing, all right? So let's take a look at the four-hour chart. And we had a good momentum to the upside. I think that's the wave one. I think this is an A, B, C correction for wave two. So how do we know that the uh, wave three, right, of that bigger wave C is starting? Well, we can look for bullish candlestick patterns. So if we have four-hour candlestick patterns here, that could be one uh, way of catching the reversal. Or if price breaks above this resistance trend line, for instance, or this resistance trend line, of course, we're looking at a potential breakout. That will be a break around 114, right? We have a long-term moving average as well. That's just a little bit higher. So 114, 114, 25, that would be the main breakout zone for an upside. So if you get a break there, you could take the break or you can wait for a flag and a bull flag, for instance, or a triangle like this and wait for the next breakout for a move up to, at the very minimum, uh, we would expect to move up to, uh, let's put a fib back, one second, there we go, to about 116.40. But I think if this is a wave three, it will go further. It will go to 117, make another flag, and then move up maybe to 117.75 to complete a five wave pattern within wave C. All right, so plenty of upside, the long-term target, could even be up at 117.50 up to even 118.50, all right? And uh, that would be the uh, bigger target that we can keep in mind. But if you want to be more careful, of course, then you might want to aim for something like a little bit closer, maybe around 116, 116.50, which could still be a heavy resistance zone uh, in this case because of the pretty large corrective area that we've had in the past. All right, let's move over to the pound dollar. Now, the pound made one more upside. Uh, it broke actually above this uh, resistance, and it didn't break below the support. I thought if it break, broke below the support, it would make one more wave C like this, one more dip down. But it didn't break. It broke to the upside instead, and then went up to the target that is logical, the 130 round level. Bounced off the 130 round level, made a reversal back down again. All right? So I think that the wave A has been uh, basically... Uh, you know, increased in, in its size, and it's now here. And I think we're probably ready and going to see a wave B at this moment and then up again for a wave C. Let's take a look at uh, this particular pattern. It looks pretty, you know, impulsive, pretty um, pretty good momentum there, this uh, downside. So I think it could bounce its support, make a new rally, but have struggled at the 129.25 level, which is a left shoulder, head, and right shoulder, head and shoulders pattern potential there. I think could play out for a reversal and we might see one more push down to for instance the 50 fib which in turn could be a bouncing spot all right let's take a look at the daily chart and uh, we see bearish candlestick pattern on friday 
at the long to move long to moving average and each time price has reached that zone as you can see there was a bounce so there's a pretty good chance that it will bounce i think in this uh, in this case too we might what could be the target well i said already the 50 fib something that helps support that 50 fib uh, area are the shoulders on the left here all right for a potential inverted head and shoulders like this there we go and that could be a reversal zone for upside again all right so we might get a head and shoulders here for a move down to a head and shoulders level again and then upside again that can complete that bigger wave a b c the main target would be the tops back in here and a minus 272 target at around 13170 all right so again bullish candlestick patterns at the 50 fib would help confirm that upside but also if we zoom into lower time frames again of course if we get a move up like this and then down like this then we'll get a bounce we'll get a trend line like that wait for the break of the trend line for a move up that could be another way of trading that reversal uh, and the abc correction the, the wave c in this case to the upside all right last but not least the weekly chart we have five bullish candles in a row uh, funny enough uh two with massive wicks on both ends last week we had kind of a doji in, in a certain way because the body was so small now i think that um, it wouldn't be surprising for me to see a retest of the low maybe then a bounce at the low that could fit in you can see that price is respecting this so 21 ema as well and i think if you look at the bigger picture here we're looking at a uh, wave four at the moment and i think that the wave four could go back into the previous top so let's take a look where that level is indeed around 131 50 up to even 132.50 i think or even 133 could be kind of the zone where price might move to and then bounce back to the downside if this is a wave four indeed wave a b c and then downside that's what i'm expecting for the pound dollar all right more free analysis of course so you can find at our website elitecurrency.com also our ecs start package and of course our ecs live trading membership join, join our telegram channel and uh, our live webinars analysis and setups uh, soon. Hope to see you there. In any case, thanks for joining and good trading. Cheers.